In the season 18 auditions round of America's Got Talent, a tall and lanky girl named Courtney Hadwin stepped onto the stage, appearing utterly perplexed. With her unrehearsed and nervous answers, she seemed to baffle the audience, who held minimal to no expectations for her performance. Initially, most onlookers anticipated a run-of-the-mill vocal performance, perhaps with an average voice. However, what unfolded next surpassed all expectations. The unassuming girl underwent a dramatic metamorphosis, and as soon as the music played, she channeled the spirit of a 60s rocker. A surprising transformation had everyone in the audience leaping from their seats in sheer astonishment. Join us as we uncover the incredible rise of Courtney Hadwin from America's Got Talent. It's finally out. I'm finally giving people something. Um, it means something to me. Um, just the emotions that were going around when that first song came out. Courtney was born on the 6th of July 2004 in the United Kingdom to Paul Hadwin and Anne-Marie. She grew up in Hesleyden with her sister Melissa and brother Paul. Courtney studied at the Hesleyden Primary School. Later, she pursued her education at the Academy at Shotton Hall in Peterley. Courtney's aspiration to become a singer ignited when she witnessed the enchanting performance of Connie Talbot, a finalist in the inaugural season of Britain's Got Talent. Inspired by Connie's natural talent, Courtney recognized the need to refine her own vocal abilities. However, aware of the financial challenges associated with singing lessons, the resourceful teenager took matters into her own hands. Courtney embarked on a journey of busking, showcasing her talent on the streets of England to earn the funds needed for professional vocal coaching. Since 2016, she's been a familiar presence, often traversing the country in search of optimal locations to share her musical gifts with passers-by. She then honed her skills at various institutions, including Shotton Hall Theatre School, Peanuts Masterclasses, Kate Sir's School of Music, and Julie Miles's Vocal Ovation. In April 2015, Hadwin entered her first singing competition in Newcastle, England. There, she sang Bob Dylan's Make You Feel My Love and advanced to the grand final. Her talent gained attention when she performed the powerful duet Say Something by Great Big World and Christina Aguilera in September 2015. The following year, she achieved success by winning Hartpool's Performer of the Year Award in April 2016 and securing a finalist position in the Beyond the Lights Award ceremony. Further showcasing her skills, Courtney served as the opening act for Sister Sledge at a South Tyneside Festival concert where she had a crowd of over 18,000 people. Later, she contributed her vocal talents to a Southampton event for youth support, a cause dedicated to raising funds for children with life-limiting illnesses and disabilities. In 2017, Courtney took her talents to another singing reality show, participating in a blind audition where she delivered a rendition of Tina Turner's Nutbush City Limits. Judge Danny Jones selected her and became her mentor on the show. Throughout the competition, she engaged in a memorable battle round with performances of Dancing in the Street against Ebony Green and Holly Furman. Her semi-final showcase featured James Brown's I Got You, I Feel Good, and for the final performance, she passionately sang the Torch song And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going from the Broadway musical Dreamgirls, concluding her journey as a finalist. Seeing her immense potential, Courtney Hadwin's grandfather played a pivotal role in redirecting her path to stardom. Instead of pursuing Britain's Got Talent, he convinced her to audition for America's Got Talent, firmly believing that her exceptional talent would find greater appreciation across the Atlantic in the United States. This decision marked a significant turning point in Courtney's journey. She tried out for the 13th season of America's Got Talent in 2018. When she came on the stage, she looked extremely shy and timid. Mel B tried to talk to her, but she kept on giving short answers. However, as soon as the music started, Courtney transformed into a complete performer. She sang Otis Redding's Heart to Handle. Throughout her performance, everyone went from showing initial skepticism to clapping in high admiration. When she ended, she got a standing ovation from all the four judges and everyone in the auditorium. Howie was the first judge to say he liked her singing to Janis Joplin and even pressed the golden buzzer. This was so surreal for Courtney, as she had thought that she would definitely get a red buzzer, but the complete opposite thing happened. Courtney's audition amassed over 50 million views on AGT's YouTube channel within the initial five months. Courtney returned for the quarterfinals and sang James Brown's Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. For the semi-final, she delivered a rendition of Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild, and later appeared in the final with Tina Turner's River Deep and Mountain High. Despite being such a dynamic performer, a controversy found its way to Courtney. 
Some netizens said that her shy girl persona is an act. The allegation came after people discovered her performance clips from The Voice UK. They claimed she had vast performing experience. But quickly, her family, school teachers, and friends defended her, attesting to her shyness throughout childhood. Many pointed out that other contestants also had prior contest experience before joining AGT. Luckily, this proved to be a slight hiccup and didn't do any damage to Courtney's career. In fact, she addressed the controversy and said that for her, the experience of these two shows was entirely different. She said in The Voice UK, songs were assigned to her, but America's Got Talent provided a unique sense of creative freedom. In the latter, Courtney had the autonomy to choose her own songs, a process she thoroughly enjoyed. This newfound artistic control allowed her to shape her performances in a way that resonated with her personal style. For her fans, it was disappointing to see that she didn't make it to the final top five, but they were happy to see that she was one of the performers of the finale night. She collaborated with the rock band Strat to sing A Piece of My Heart. Not just this, she also got an opportunity to go to Las Vegas for five live shows with winner Shin Lim. Despite not winning the AGT title, Courtney captured the hearts of millions with her remarkable performances. In 2018, she seized the opportunity to sign a record deal with Simon Cowell's Psycho Entertainment and Arista Records. The following year, Courtney released her debut album, The Cover Sessions. In the same year, she participated in America's Got Talent, The Champions, where she presented her original single, Pretty Little Thing. This talented young singer has also earned recognition as one of the top 50 contestants across all AGT shows spanning 194 countries. After captivating audiences with her original song, Pretty Little Thing, on America's Got Talent, The Champions, Courtney Hadwin's debut EP, The Cover Sessions, was released on the 25th of October 2019. This collection features live covers of popular tracks such as Sign of the Times by Harry Styles, Old Town Road by Lil Nas X, Sucker by the Jonas Brothers, and Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. Recognized as an exceptional talent with a voice and spirit well beyond her years, Hadwin draws inspiration from a diverse array of artists, including Little Richard, James Brown, Janis Joplin, and Mick Jagger. During 2020, Hadwin maintained her online presence by releasing a cover of John Lennon's Happy Xmas, War Is Over. In 2021, Courtney was scheduled to perform at the FM4 Frequency Festival, but the event faced cancellation. She eventually parted ways with the label that took over her account after Simon Cowell's psycho music label ceased operations. Courtney asserted her newfound independence by stating that she'll be taking full control and will do things her way. In early 2023, Courtney unveiled her original single, Breakable, co-written with producer Kevin Bow. Subsequently, she released two more original singles, That Girl Don't Live Here, in April and Call Me Back. Demonstrating her versatility, she later dropped another song titled Monsters, a hard-rocking track addressing the challenges of maintaining mental health during stressful times. The song not only received praise for its upbeat tune, but also achieved notable success, charting at number 19 on Billboard's Hard Rock Digital Song Sales chart. Over the past five years, Courtney Hadwin has exhibited remarkable artistic growth, establishing herself as an increasingly influential figure in the music industry. Her trajectory signals a continuous ascent, with each project showcasing her evolving talent and unique artistry. Currently boasting over 1 million subscribers on a YouTube channel, Courtney has successfully cultivated a dedicated online community that eagerly anticipates her creative endeavors. On Spotify, her musical presence is equally impressive, with approximately 81,000 and growing listeners. As she continues to captivate audiences with her distinct style and powerful performances, Courtney Hadwin stands as a promising artist poised for even greater achievements in the coming years.